Yeah, so far we're seeing a lot of berserkers on the goblin side, which which might be surprising. Uh, maybe they've practiced something or they know something that we don't. Last cannon left here on the right side, still under heavy fire, and seems like goblins are doing a great job with the artillery. Look at that. All the towers were destroyed at least once, and a lot of time lost for crippled squad. Started. We can see grenades flying in trying to stop the push from crippled squad. They are moving in with pikes, they are moving with, with shields, they are moving in with brute force. A lot of pikes, a lot of shields, some javelins and some grenades are flying forward. On the other hand, goblins are very aggressively counter-attacking. This is very interesting considering that, yes, trebuchets, what I wanted to say, are going to fly in in a moment. Quite so, ooh, and the Zycalium militia throw is flying high over, so that burn is not going to have an impact, but the trap is hitting really big together with the pike advance. This is really good advance for, uh, for your legion. Yes, and this was nicely coordinated advance because two pikes, one left, one right, same time, same moment, pushed forward. But goblins, they are counter advancing right now with their, I believe this is double advance at the same time, so very heavily on the damage, being uh, right now under the trebuchet fire countered. The trebuchet is a little bit late, but it is going to cut down most of the units nevertheless. So very nicely pushed. Coming in from the left side as well, they got them hammered in here in this corner. So I hope there's more uh, trebuchets flying in because they're definitely going to need it unless there's another one. To do. And they are pushing. The push is here. We can see they are flying in, moving to the left, moving to the right, advance left, advance right. Very nicely coordinated. Counter advance from the goblins on the left side and full force on the right side as well. Counter advances from goblin coming in, but they are too late. All of them are being dealt with and the left side force is coming. Goblins having one more pikes in the back. They are going to stagger the advances nicely. The second advance have come and the third advance from goblins is right now on the left flank place. Right flank from crippled squad is looking very nicely. Seems like they killed all of the defenders, but they need to really turn around and help their left flank. Trebuch, very nicely placed. And General, something on the right flank, you could see that the uh, Royal Legion was actually using a, a couple of pike advances at the same time, and uh, Goblins actually did one by one. But the Royal Legion were very smart, put up the Imperial Spearman uh, wall on the right side, and that way the, those uh, Imperial pikes from Goblins just couldn't get through, and I think that allowed them to win on the right side. Um, especially with their fortify shows, as more traps keep flying in as they kill off the remaining of uh, goblins here. Yeah. Really good, uh, fight and this trebuchet was very nice. Q almost died. Look at him, he's like 0 HP. Uh, Crippled squad very nicely leaving most of their units on the right side to block supply from goblins. They are pushing with just a one or two single unit, but all the heroes to the A point. They have only three minutes. They have lost a lot of time to get the towers to the point. So they really are working under the clock. So still pretty equal, as we're going to have a fight at the bottom of the stairs. Yes, and I really want to know what's in the mind of Royal Legion right now of the Crippled Squad, because yes, they have only six minutes left, but most of their players don't have units anymore. Yeah, and another person dying from Crippled Squad. Heavy push right now happening from Goblins. Most of the shields are right now placed on the ground by the mouse and by the short sword, and they are chasing. Yes, Goblins are chasing people squad back to their spawn let's see if and i think our religion is trying to go through the small gate this time they bring out some calf as well um so they might uh, try and do what end gegner did last time but goblins is already rotating over to the small gate uh, as this time they have scouts on top of the wall in comparison to what pond guard did last week it's going to be something like that eight trebuchets still left on the crippled squad and this is interesting that they are not using them anymore come on guys Two minutes left, why are you keeping these trebuchets for? Fight is right now happening here in the middle of the plus. Very nice goblins defense. They are going to hide uh, around the corner, not getting the fire onto their heads. And uh, yeah, killing one by one some of the units. Stargering their, uh, their forces. Some armingers from Payan here in the behind, trying to clear all the backline. And he is going to lose most of them, but also kill quite a lot. Trebuchet is finally flying in, two minutes left might be problematic. Pravanoga here from the behind with Armingers, very nice flank. Only heroes left from Goblins and they don't have any plus point nearby. So if Royal Legion will be able in this one minute to push hard enough, kill as many heroes as they can, maybe they will still be able to do something about it. Klopson coming in with some of his Armingers, 
going to do a 1v1 here versus critical. Critical, 0 HP, look at that. He's wasting so much time and he died right now, but yeah, he was Goblins are dying one by one, we can see another person dying, another person dying, but still 11 left alive and the supplies are coming. One minute, it's going to be hard, but not yeah, undoable. The traps are going to be crucial. If they can keep killing them one by one and they can prevent the units from coming in, then maybe they do have a chance here. Only one minute left. Yes, trebuchet cooldown is 20 seconds, so they will not be able to use all of them, but still it will, should be placed immediately every time, every time possible. And another person is dying from goblins, another one. So yeah, goblins very low on HP, 7 people alive versus 13, and the trebuchets are uh, flying in, uh, not too good, but yeah. Right now Royal Legion seems to be winning the deathmatch on the cop, but 30 seconds, will they be able to do it for the 30 seconds? Q with 0 HP wasting another s seconds. The seconds here are crucial. Payan as well, full HP. And uh, yeah, we have critical short sword. I don't think they will have enough time. 15 seconds on the clock, so close. But goblins, yeah. Yeah, goblins manage the clock very, very well. One by one. Nice game, nice game. And it will go to goblins at the end. Yeah, well played for them. That, again, a lot of Berserkers. It's very interesting. I, I'm really going to watch and see what they do. Goblins, Berserkers, what's the difference, really? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> when you put it like that, yes. That's uh, the closest you can get to Goblins, I guess, with the units, right? Maybe other than the Sons of Fenry, right? The unit who is like... Uh, when they run, they look a little bit like some trolls or Goblins or whatever. But... Yeah. Uh, if, if they win, they are Berserkers. If they lose, they are Sons of Fenry, unless... That's all right, all right. Let's play for that. 60% on the health, middle tower 50%. The one on the right side is dead, but other than that, quite uh, quite a, a few artillery left, unfortunately, on the triple squad. And yeah, one more headshot. They are lurking around in the middle for the gate. We have not seen so far any gate pushes, so it will be interesting to see if those two players with Berserkers will be rushing the back of the defenders. For now, everyone moving through the left tower. Uh, they're starting to push in and we can see one, two, three, four Berserker squads from um, the Goblins. So let's see if they can do a lot. They're on Torbidon, one of the star players, as well as on uh, Gilicho. As here, there we have the Torbidon getting the kill and I think the Goblins are really wrecking it at the front line there. As the Star Wars continue to follow them up. But let's look on the right side because that's where most of the uh, Crippled Squad is coming in. Yeah, it seems like Crippled Squad chosen a very interesting tactic right now for the defense interesting in the meaning because they will be under heavy fire of the trebuchets what is happening right now and a lot of units as you can see here for the branches and a lot of shields shields dying to the trebuchets this is very unfortunate i guess uh, because moving from this angle look they have like 100 meter of a wall where they are being uh, where they can be under heavy fire of the trebuchet constantly and this is happening all over again so people not noticing seems that they are not looking to the left side when you see from a player perspective what's in front of you you need to focus on your units it's hard to see as well when the trebuchets are flying in but you should expect them and this is a big mistake in my opinion from the defenders they're going to lose the a point much much faster compared to previous battles yeah, and critically, it's critical that it's actually rushing in with Cav to the supply, which means that Crippled Squad is not going to be able to get any new units, and they desperately need them, which means that we could see um, uh, the Goblins actually rushing to this uh, plus on the right side and only face heroes, basically. Uh, as critical, does that clean up? And there's some army goes there, but they really need to be quick on getting new units and set up their defenses. Yeah, Tadamish is still alive here for just a slight moment, but uh, look at the players alive. Only nine players alive from Triple Squad. This is quite problematic, and they are not going to defend this plus. So if you could tell us about that. Yeah, totally. They're losing a couple of units, but I want to point out something interesting on the map again. Critical is going for the other supply, stopping four heroes from... Uh, from Crippled Squad to actually get units as more uh, heroes from Goblins also go to the left supply, splitting up 
as they start to push in on the right side. Uh, trying to make the big advance, but Sakali and Alicia doing their lot of burn damage there. Uh, units, it's actually 70 in favor for uh, for the goblins, but let's look at this fight, uh, General. Yeah, it seems like one cavalry is going to come from the behind to try to put a pressure on the defenders and then crippled squad. Defending in the corner where most of the players, most of the teams defend, very nice cavalry push around the defenders. A lot, a lot of units have died for the defenders, also three heroes died. So this is going to be very, very problematic defense, especially that they have Payan, they have Yuki height on the back with the cavalry, and another player critical is still there on plus, blocking new units flow, and they don't have too many units. Of course, goblins putting a very high pressure, they risked a lot of damage, and they received a lot of damage to their units, just a couple pikes, couple shields are left, and not too many units are here on the battlefield for yeah. the attackers. There's only seven, six, five, or five uh, heroes from, uh, from, from, from Gold Squad alive and um, the traps continue to fly in, but there's no units. I don't think they can even get on the point here. Yeah, they will not be able. As said, just a few units left, but enough to keep crippled squad in the bay. So, to zero. Interesting game. Very fast. Amazing played by uh, Goblins. So, Eclarides and Crippled Squad versus Pondgard and Lamaland. 99% we need to confirm, of course, with the teams, but they will be playing next week. And matchup 3 and 4, so Kitten and Gegner versus, and uh, Goblins versus Nexus, this will be played in two weeks. So, interesting stuff ahead of us. In three weeks, we will see semi finals, and in four weeks, we will see third place game and finals to top it off. So, still four more standards of the games ahead of us. What uh, ahead?